Do you like series vapes? I do. So, with that being said, I want to get to the Rig Pig version 2. 2700 version of the OG series from Vape Amp and AKA Rigmon. And, uh, yeah. This little bad boy seri is in series, as in, it takes your volts and it doubles them. It doesn't double your amp limits, like in parallel, it's in series, it's stacked. So anyways, this came in a lovely box from Vape Amp Rigmon, and inside it came the device, and a little bit of precautionary warnings. They suggest that you do not build below point four ohms. So as low as uh, two four, I believe. Um, hold on, I can figure this out. Let me plug it in real quick. I can tell you exactly. Damn it. Okay, yeah, I figured that out. Pulled out the phone, figured it out. Uh, so, doubling your voltage at 3.7 volts, 7.4. Uh, we'll say at a 0.25 resistance gives you 29.6 amps being drawn. So, that is within your safe margin of your 30 amp limit on your 30 amp 2700 batteries. Wow. That's not showing up at all. It's not working at all. Can't even read it. Anyways, so yeah. Rig Pig V2. Let's check it out. So yeah, there she is. In all of her series glory. The Rig Pig version 2. What's that up? Now there's literally no electronic components to it. This is a mechanical mod, so please make sure you know your Ohm's Law before you even consider using a mechanical mod. Let alone a series mechanical mod. Uh, yeah, if you've never used a series mod and you don't know the difference between a series mod, mechanical mod, regulated mod, parallel mod, all the above, you probably shouldn't be attempting to use these devices. So yeah, that's one side of it. You got the lovely rig pig engraved in there. A little doll look, and I've been using this thing for about two months now. <clears throat> and yeah, it's just fingerprinted up, that's it. Um, yeah, that's, that's side one. <clears throat> and you got the little um, tower for the oil rig itself, the uh, candid logo. And then on this side, you got the rig pig. So yeah, that's what she looks like from up top. Now I did switch out the button in this between, uh, this is what it originally had in it, the hopper, focus, focus. There she goes, that's a copper. And that was the one that was originally in it, but I just decided to put it in this uh, V2 18650 mod. Anyways, back to the piggy. So yeah, you got uh, this handy dandy tool for taking the top uh, hybrid 510 off. <clears throat> so this little disc here comes one of these little tools with two little prongs on it and the prongs go inside these little holes like so and you just twist it right on off actually it's so loose that you should be able to get it out like that so yeah look at that it's gonna make sure that the uh, orientation of your batteries is opposite on one side then there's the other and uh yeah, I should probably do this on camera. Anyways, so I took the hybrid disc, 
and I screwed the bottom of my Lucid RDA atomizer and that's all you just take that disc always want to put it on your RDA first put it on there nice and snug and make sure that your, your uh, 510 is always protruding very important to have that protruding 510 Focus. There she go. Uh, there we go. So anyways, you want that 510 to be protruding. And this one is definitely doing so. So yeah, now you're good to uh, load that on your RDA or on your mod itself. But we want to make sure your battery orientation is the same. Always make sure your batteries are wrapped with no nicks or marks or cuts or anything like that. That will cause a dead short. <clears throat> Anyways, we got venting on the bottom of this. So I like to run mine down like so. Then I will take the RDA with the disc on it and I will screw it onto this like so. So that's snug but in the meantime I suppose I probably should have backed this out first on this side this is adjustable and all it is is a large Allen screw that uh, you can take your Allen key to let me find one that's large enough because it's a fairly decent size one something like hmm yay big and back that off and now I'm going to back this off and you'll see <clears throat> this thing will come the whole way out I'm not sure if that's silver plated or just stainless yeah there's your contact and I can make sure that gap's nice and closed in there. So yeah, we got some rattle going on. Take your little Allen screw, screw it in there. And I like to just do it until it's nice and snug on the battery and it gets rid of that rattle. Still got the rattle. A little bit of rattle. And there it is, that's it. I'm just gonna go until it does that and now Oh, it's this that's making the noise, not, uh, not the battery. Huh. Anyways, next side. See, I can usually just finger tighten or loosen those, but you have a little divot here so that you have your contact sticking up and you know which way to orientate it. That little nipple sticking out is always going to go up. So, anyways, we want this to go opposite of this side. Now remember, we have this one oriented so that the positive is going to go out the bottom. So we don't want it to be like that on this side, we want it to be opposite. So we want it to be negative facing up on this side. So we're going to take our negative facing up battery and we're going to place it in there like so. We're going to take this little nipple tabby screw battery tightener cap battery cap thingy bobber and put it back on <clears throat> I know you like that and just do it until it's snug and it'll just uh, yeah tightens up right there in there like swimwear baby Looks nice with the lucid on there, huh? So get back off. Come on. I broke this index finger a couple days ago, so I'm not really that capable of using it at the moment if you're wondering why I'm only using my middle finger whenever I'm screwing things on and off 
Okay, so I do have a series build inside my Cali RDA. So I will take that off. <clears throat> and I will put this 510 disc on here. Ooh. And just put it on like that. I'm going to loosen our grub again, our Allen screw, on the bottom of this. I'm going to loosen that. Alright. Now that's loose, I'm going to drop my battery back in. Take the 510 in my Addy. And I'm going to put this down until it sits flush on top of the mod itself. Bam, that's good. But we still have the battery rattle. So, take your Allen key, stick it in your Allen screw down here, like so. And uh, yeah, stick that in there and just snug it up. Bam. No rattle anymore. Nothing. Quieter than a church mouse pissing on a cotton ball. Oh yes, we got those. Oh yeah. That's nice. So that's just battery assembly and all that, but how about actually breaking it down to really get in there and do all the stuff that you want to do in there? Well, we can do that too. So, take the batteries out again. Oops. Come on, work with me here. There we go. Out. Battery one. See, the weird thing is, is it's got these vent holes on this side too, but the little tool doesn't fit. It's too big. The prongs are too, too wide, too spread apart. They don't, they don't fit in this one. You know what I mean? These don't fit. Fit in the other one, but not that one. <clears throat> I think it's strictly for uh, venting purposes. Battery too. Okay. So, what if you want to pull this thing apart and check it out? See what's going on, clean her up, give her a good old spit shine, all that happy stuff. Well, it can be done. Take out your tweezers. And you have these little black foamy insert thingies and there's one that's going to expose a Phillips screw and there's two do not lose those because the good folks over at vape amp highly suggest not to even use this device without said covers on the device so yeah, these are just two Phillips screws. We're gonna take our Phillips screwdriver and we're just gonna loosen that real quick. Simple as that. That was loose. And now that one's loose. So now the entire device should completely pull apart, like so. There's your top, there's your center core, here's your one long ass screw, here's your other long A screw, and then here's a little Delrin top, so this uh, controls as you're pressing down on the fire, this stops it from pressing down and it keeps it nice and even, a little insert. Yeah, that goes there. But yeah, that removes too. So you can get in there and clean it if you want to. Yeah, I don't know. 
don't think it really makes a difference as far as orientation. Could be wrong, but I don't think it does make a difference. But yeah, I guess it's supposed to go that way because that was a shiny and the other one's a dull side. But yeah, that pivots like that so that whenever you're pressing on this contact, this contact here, this little guy presses down and hits the top of your battery. Yeah, that contact needs cleaned actually. It's a little grungy. But yeah, that's the top of it itself. Just solid brass. Some nice threading in there. And this is all American made too. Brass and copper. bottom of it too and this just shows you uh, how it's oriented from the bottom there are two little Delrin <clears throat> sleeves inside the bottom of this okay don't lose those <laughs> mucho importante and right here what you'll see here is that contact that you screw in from the bottom right here you can just screw that like that. Mm, comes the whole way out. But yeah, that's it. From uh, bare bones to completely assembled. Let's put her back together. So we'll put this contact back in. <clears throat> so uh, if you want to change your button on this device pretty simple you got your little contact here so you're going to hold hit this down here so it doesn't spin and as you do that you're just going to give this a twist and this is so you can clean your button change your button clean your mod as you see holding that down as I twist on this side it's slowly coming up and out of the housing that it was seated in as it comes out solid copper there's a spring in there in between the two <clears throat> and that's it as far as the uh, contact goes And you can change your button and do all that fancy stuff just like that. Give your contacts a good cleaning. Yeah, that one's due for a cleaning. Looking a bit sketchy. I must say so myself. Yeah, that's it. Put it back together. I really don't want to because I kind of want to clean it now that I see how grungy it is. But we will. Super quick super easy because the beauty of a mechanical mod is <clears throat> as long as you're keeping it clean it should work as long as you live <laughs> longer you know they're really uh, they don't rely on any electronics other than a battery and uh, as long as you have a steady supply of batteries you can always uh, rest assured that you don't have to worry about uh, having to invest in a new device because these mechanical mods are just so simple but they work flawlessly see I messed up there the spring is supposed to go in the top housing not the bottom getting ahead of myself again and there like that and this goes in here like so this time I'm doing it the opposite way. I'm screwing this end on and I'm holding this end. And that's it. See? Just like that. 
So now we'll just work our way from the uh, top down. So, there's your button, there's your Dalrin core. This guy sits there like that, sit this like that. I just close it up, nice and tight. Flip it on over. All right, so now we got this guy here. Do not <laughs> lose these little sleeves, but anyways, the sleeves go like this. One here, and one here. And then you just put it like this. This big old sandwich. Close together like that. Now you can have it with the rig pig V2 oriented with the rig pig. I personally like it to go like this. Well, I like it to sit and look um, where it has the rig pig with the tower on this side, and then this is just the rig pig on that side. <clears throat> Anyways. There are some uh, insulators sitting on the uh, inside of this here. This white padding insulator right around here and also here. So that's always a plus. So this just goes in here like that. There's one. There's two. Here's our Phillips screwdriver. Get him back in there. Back in the mix. Snug these up right quick. Okay. And we'll take our little tab cover thingy. Just push it in there like that. And push this guy right here. Like that. Then I will place my battery in here like so. Look, two eyes and a mouth. Ha ha. I will back this Allen screw up. So that I can insert my other battery. So I got my 510 hybrid disc. Put it onto the bottom of my RDA like so. Just snug. And I screw it onto my mod like so. But I want to add a battery too. So. We'll put a battery in here. Like that. Wait, no. How do I have that last one? Yeah, okay, positive goes that way. So positive up this way. Alright. Now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to screw it right on top of my mod until it sits nice and flush. There we go. Just like that. It's sitting there like so. I still got this pin sticking out in the bottom here. So I'm going to take my Allen key again and I'm just going to snug this up. That's it. No battery rattle. Reassembled, disassembled, put back together. Showed you how to clean it and everything. That is Vape Amp rig mod the rig pig v2 <clears throat> series vape ready 7.4 volts i think it needs some juice And this is the Cali RDA from QP Designs, their Canadian based company. Just like Van Gogh Vapes, another amazing Canadian based company. So 
Yeah, let's check this out again. Rowdy. Don't get much better than that, y'all. Nice cloudy series vape. Flawless. The notes you hit off of a series vape, man. So good. Brady McClouds. If you like this give it a like if you want to subscribe feel free to subscribe if you don't fair enough i'm not going to knock you for it check me out on instagram brady mcclouds that's b-r-a-d-y m-c-l-o-u-d-s until the next time be cool get old stop smoking start vaping Get old, be cool, stop smoking, and start vaping. <laughs>